Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with this week's installment of Rabbi Eaton 3, brought to you as always by Moor DC. Let's talk numbers. And I don't just mean the book of numbers, which it is, the fourth book of the Torah, known in Hebrew as Bamidbar. We finish it this week on Shabbat with a double portion, Matos and Masse. So we're talking the book of numbers, but let's talk numbers in a broader sense. I listen to a lot of music as a kid. I can remember lots of song names with numbers, 96 Tears, 76 Trombones, that's a show tune, eight days a week, 50 ways to leave your whatever you want to talk about up. Ah, one more cup of coffee. Who sang that one? What great singer sang that one? Jewish. Okay. Um, lots of numbers in songs. But let's turn to the Holy Torah. Lahavdil, as we say, separating profane from holy. Lots of numbers in the Torah. Three. Three patriarchs. Four matriarchs. 613 mitzvot commandments. The most important number, perhaps. 613 pathways for us to connect every area of our lives to Hashem and elevate ourselves. Okay, so w- numbers of all kinds, with deep, beautiful meanings. Here's a new one for you, maybe, 42. That's in this week's Torah portion, Matzeh, the second of the two portions. 42 spiritual journeys each of us makes in our lives. Now, what am I talking about? On a simple level, the Torah, it's a mysterious, it's actually a strange fact that all the commentators know. The Torah lists by name in this portion 42 stops that the Jewish people made in their journeys through the desert from the time they left Egypt to going into the Holy Land. For, and, and it names places in the desert in the Midbar they stopped. 42. Why does the Torah waste so much ink? 42 places we don't even know where they were. They're just places in the desert. But all the deeper commentaries, there are many answers why. Beautiful answers on every level. But the deeper commentaries talk about Each one of those stops or journeys represented a challenge, a spiritual opportunity, 42. Actually, that's the number of letters in one of the mystical names of God. But for, so you can, okay, great. So the Jewish people, you know, made all these mystical rectifications, so to speak, in their journey through the desert. Great. How does it apply to me today? No, no. The deeper commentaries say every one of us from the time we journey forth from the womb till we deliver our soul back to its maker, we go through 42 journeys in our lives. I don't mean to Nantucket and then to, you know, the Berkshires. I mean, uh, spiritual journeys. Those places could be involved, but opportunities, challenges. Now, we'll never be able to map them out, perhaps, probably not until the end of our lives, what exactly those stations were, but they all have to do, the commentaries say, with tikkun hamidot, the rectification of our character traits. In some periods of our life, we our challenge that God gave us is to eliminate certain negative traits. Other times, or at the same time, bring out positive traits, turn away from evil, do good. Each one of us a unique pattern of journeys, because each one of us has a unique tafkid, purpose in this world. Each one of us a unique neshama, a unique spiritual Spark of God, sent with unique challenges and difficulties, things we have to overcome, things we have to bring out, 42 journeys in our lives. Beautiful, so much depth in the Torah, so much depth in each and every one of us. Shabbos is a beautiful time to rest from our journeys and uh, and think about it, that we're, every one of us here is sent to this world with a special spiritual mission. We need the 613 commandments of the Torah to guide us, the structure in which we live our lives. Without them, we're not going to be able to successfully navigate these journeys, but every one, of, every one of us has a unique pathway. Overcome evil, do good. Have a wonderful Shabbos.